Show 2017 at the Recon Robotics booth with Katie. Miss Katie? Yes. How are you doing? Go. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Um, you're out here with uh, Linco. Correct. Linco. Obviously, it's a, it's a. There's not a partnership. Well, there is a partnership in that they're a reseller of your product. Yes, the robot is an accessory to the Bearcat. Does it come with it? It doesn't come with it, okay. but you can use it as an option. Because the guys I talked to, they said there's no extras. That they got to pay for all the extras. <laughs> so I was going to say if they're in, if they're now incorporating your device, then I think we might have been cheated at some point. Now, of course, uh, you know for people that are familiar with Linco, they make armored vehicles. Correct. Uh, the Bearcat, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And we can pan over here. This happens to be being delivered to Englewood SWAT PD. And uh, you guys from Linco are, are very uh, time sensitive on their usage of time. They like to use SHOT Show as a means to show and then also deliver the vehicle for the West Coast. Exactly. At least that's what the guys have told me in the past. Oh yeah. We've had some interesting conversations <laughs> with them too. You are correct. Those that mask guys that crack me up. Yeah. <laughs> the whole story about being inside that vehicle and shooting video and all of a sudden both of us realizing, hey, wait a minute, this part, no. <laughs> what are you doing? Exactly. So uh, turned into a wrestling match in the whole nine yards. An ugly story that we don't want to go into. <laughs> but anyhow, so if you would tell me a little bit of the background about uh, your company, sure. how it got started. Yeah, so the company started at the University of Minnesota. A couple students and their professor developed the robot using DARPA funds for the military. When was this approximately? In about uh, 2006, 2007. Okay. Uh, and you're a Minnesota girl yourself? Ex exactly. Born and raised. If, you don't, if you're not offended by me calling you a girl. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too so, bad, really. yeah. <laughs> so, so they developed it as a, a part, of, part of it, not really a military contract, but to assist the military. Exactly. With a, with a program. Yep. Uh, the uh, do they? Did you say that the, the students have actually started a company? This company was founded yes. by those students. Exactly. Now, did they the professor me. get a cut? No, no. He, it, he it, get was credit? Just, it was just the students. They still work close together. Right. Um, you know, being from the university, but right. uh, yeah, they still they started uh, Recon Robotics. Is he still making you guys buy books? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, a whole other sidetrack. So anyhow, so this was founded by students, and it's currently being run by students. Yes, we have. We still have a few of the engineer students that originally developed it. Okay. I'm still on. on Were sales. you one of the original students? I was not. Okay. Yes, I work in sales. Okay. Well, you piggybacked at the right time. Exactly. Then. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So fast forwarding, they're developing this uh, robot yes. at, for the military. It's called the Throwbot. Okay. So it's a small throwable reconnaissance robot where you get live feed from what the robot has seen. Now we've got the camera here. Yes. We've got IR up here. Yes. Uh, one way audio for listening. One way audio for listening only. It would probably, to have a uh, to have a speaker on this, to be able to talk to maybe a threat or a potential threat, would probably increase the size and throw something off, I imagine. Exactly. I mean, I'm no engineer, yep. but yes. okay. is there a possibility, I'm gonna jump in every once in a while, is there a possibility they may develop a speaker enable robot in the future all our products are designed um, from the feedback we get from officers in the field that has been a uh, recommendation that they would like to you know see on a robot so yeah it uh it's something that we're looking into. I want I want a cut of that. Okay, and it could be a bottle of scotch. A bottle of scotch and a cigar it will satisfy my Deal. my percentage on that. So so this is a throwable robot. Yes. The uh, wheels or the uh, treads, if you will, very uh, you know it's a uh, I don't want to say rubber. It's a uh, polymer type material. Yes. Okay. And everything is in house. Looks like you got a pin. Would you like me to hold that? Yeah. Okay. So to turn the robot on, you pull the pin. Pull the pin, no spoon. <laughs> <laughs> and then you turn on the controller. And so we've got the controller here. So we've got a live feed. What is the range on this? It's 100 feet for indoor and 300 feet for outdoor. Underground, about 100 feet as well? Correct. Because at, at the current time, we are technically underground. Exactly. Okay. So I could, we could we could mess with some of my guys over there on one for of the sure. other roofs. Uh, for sure. That'd be great. Okay, so this is throwable. Yes. And then you simply... Live feed from what the robot is seeing to the handheld controller. Wow, that is.
that is amazing. Of course, I like the, the, the you get a tactile, you also get a tactile sense of the, of the surface that you're traversing by way of the little bouncing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like the reaction from our, our uh, attendees. Now you know there's going to be some clowns going to grab that and run with it. Yeah, and you know what? And they can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they can. But then you can track them as long as you get an idea of the area that they're in. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Um, so, uh, I'm the same guy that's Anything else that uh, I'm, I'm, tr I'm thinking outside the box here a little bit, which I can't help. Um, I'm trying to think of any other uses for this. Hostage negotiation is not really in the in the in the, the works right now. Um, I did notice that you had something attached to the back of this little guy when I first walked up. What was that? Uh, yeah, it was like a puck. So this is something that we developed with the FBI. This is something we developed with the FBI where they wanted something that could pull a payload. So what they do is put a charge on this disc, an initiator on top of the robot, and you get the, the live feed still from what the robot is seen to the handheld controller. You put the charge on here, drive it down range, and then they can release the, the charge. If there's a suspicious package, they can release it and then uh, drive on. And we can demo that in just a moment, correct? correct. Now, yes. is there a rear-facing camera so that they, they can have eyes onto the object? No, it's, okay. it's straightforward. But more than likely, they're gonna have a visual on the object, yes. anyhow, even if they're behind a barricade or something. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, okay. Okay, Katie, and continuing with the uh, <laughs> the coffee cup delivery system <laughs> that you guys have come into, yes. come into work. So just like our other robot, you just pull the pin to turn it on. Now I noticed that this has a bit of a, a different tail. Yes. And there's a reason for that. It keeps the balance, you know, with the, the axle. It keeps the back balance with the axle on this particular device? Correct. Okay. So you just pulled that little puck actually over a, a slight hump. You didn't lose the coffee cup, and obviously your coffee cup is a bit high centered. What would the weight, uh, estimated available weight of pulling? Uh, four pounds. Four, up to four pounds. Yes. Do they have larger skid uh, pucks? Yes, they do. And that is something that uh, we're working on with the F puck sizes that are available. That are available, and again, maximum being four pounds. Yes. So if you had a larger object, you would be able, as long as we're within that four pound maximum Correct. range, you can still uh, navigate. Yes. That'd be great if somebody sconed with your copy. <laughs> but... Okay, and uh, what is, uh, for lack of a better word, what's uh, MSRP for this? Uh, it's about 15000 15000 yes. okay. And we do have uh, the GSA price too, which is the 3% discount. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, very good. And uh, available today. Absolutely. Okay, good deal. Well, thank you very much. Right, it was an absolute pleasure. You have a safe trip home. Thank you. Okay.